All right, guys, we're back again. And we've got Arkansas at the number 10 Clemson Tigers this week. A big game. This could get us in the top 25 with a win. Uh, today against the Tigers, we had a pretty strong showing last week against Florida State. Looking to do the same thing in a absolute dogfight here with Clemson for the lead in the ACC Atlantic outright. Uh, Arkansas has started off with four straight uh, conference games, today being their fourth. They've been 3-0 you know, in all of them, including a win over Florida State, number 18 last week, and an opportunity to get another top 25 win this week over the Clemson Tigers. So here we go. Arkansas versus Clemson at Clemson Memorial Field. And the Tigers are going to kick, and the Hogs will return. Hayden and Boyd back to return. Hayden in the back of the end zone is going to get this one and just going to take a knee, bring it out to the 25 where Arkansas will start this next drive. So it's first and 10 for Arkansas. Ball at the 25 here. Start this game out. Going up against this tough Clemson defense. And they go with a run by Boyd up the right side for a gain of three. It's going to be second down and seven for Arkansas. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 28. Second down and seven. We're going to go up the left side with Boyd, and Boyd is going to get five, and it's going to be third down and three for Arkansas. Rakeem Boyd back-to-back -back carries. It's going to be third down and three for Arkansas, and the crowd is getting loud. And they gave it to Hayden, who gets to the right side, bounces back to the right, and gets six yards and a first down for the Hogs. First down at 10 for Arkansas ball at about the 39-yard line. And he's going to go with the screen pass out to Boyd. He's got some room to run. And Boyd is going to be brought down after a 21-yard reception. At the 40-yard line of Clemson. And for the first time today, Arkansas will be in Clemson territory on the first drive of the game. First and 10 for the Razorbacks. Boyd in the backfield again. He's going to get the handoff, and he's going to go up the left side for four yards. It's going to be second down and six for Arkansas. Rakeem Boyd looking pretty, uh, pretty rubbed up and ready to go here today in Clemson. Hayden checks in. Second down six. They're going to give it to Hayden. He's going to go up the right side, and he is going to break a couple tackles, get eight yards, and it's first down and ten for Arkansas. Ball at the 28 now. A heavy dose of running the ball here on this first drive for Arkansas. And he's going to hit Woods over the middle for another first down. 12-yard reception. First and 10 for Arkansas. Four minutes left here in the first quarter. And Arkansas is driving down the field on this Clemson defense. Boyd and Hayden in the backfield. And Hayden's going to scoop up the batted pitch. And it's going to be a loss of five. Second down of 15. A lot of speed on this uh Clemson defense, and you see it there as they bat that pitch away and almost cause a turnover. So it's going to be second down at 15 for Arkansas. Ball at the 21-yard line. And he's going to hit Hayden over the middle, and Hayden gets it all the way down to the 2-yard line, a 19-yard reception. First and goal for the Razorbacks. Boyd 
Both teams coming out with their big sets. Boyd in the backfield for Arkansas. They're going to hand it off to him. He's met in the backfield, and he gets nowhere. It's going to be second down and goal for Arkansas. Second and goal. Ball at the two. They're going to hand it off to Boyd again. Up the, or they're handing it off to Hayden this time up the middle. He gets one yard. It's going to be third down and goal for Arkansas. Ball at the one for Arkansas. They're going to spread them out. They got Boyd and Hayden in the backfield. Handoff going to Boyd, and he gets in the end zone. A one-yard touchdown run, and Arkansas takes the early 6 to nothing lead over the Clemson Tigers. So after the extra point, it's going to be seven to nothing. Arkansas beating Clemson here. We're going to see Trevor Lawrence come out for the first time today to go up against this really talented Arkansas defense, just allowing four rushing yards a game this year, and they got Trevor Lawrence and Etn. Trevor Lawrence and Travis Etienne to go up against today. And they're going to go hurry up here after a seven yard gain on first down on the kick out to the running back. And Travis Etienne is going to get 11 yards on his first carry. It's going to be tough for this uh, run defense to shut him down today. I'll tell you what, he, Travis Etienne, one of the most Talented running backs in the country. And Gidry comes up and gets him for a loss of four. Trevor Lawrence stops immediately in his tracks. Do laundry and play a game at the same time here. And Marshall is going to stop him and sack him for a loss of one. Third down and 15 for Clemson. Third down and 15 for Clemson. And it's incomplete. And Clemson's going to punt this ball back to Arkansas. The defense answers the call here on Clemson's first drive of the game. And they're going to get the ball back at about the 16-yard line now. So first and 10 for Arkansas. And pitch it out to the right to Boyd, who breaks a tackle and then gets brought down for a loss of three. So it's going to be second and 13 when we start up here in the second quarter. But Arkansas with the lead early over the number 10 Clemson Tigers. Seven to nothing after one. Arkansas with the lead. And it's Jones with the catch in the first down. 13-yard reception for Arkansas. 
First and ten. Ball to twenty six now. Cole Kelly starting off good, just as usual. Hit as he throws, as he's truck going to throw. It's going to be a loss and sack of eight. Just too slow development of a play, and Arkansas is going to be in second and 18 now. And he's going to hit Warren, and Warren's going to bounce off the tackler, and he's going to go for some extra yards here. He's get brought down inside the 25, a 60-yard reception. And Arkansas flips the field just like that on the Tigers. First and 10 ball at the 21. Huge play for Arkansas that time. Warren with a great catch and run. Going to go play action. Back of the end zone to Warren, and he catches a 21-yard touchdown, and Arkansas goes up 13 to nothing on the number 10 Clemson Tigers. 4:14 left here in the first half. Wide open in the back of the end zone. Warren tiptoeing and making the catch. And Arkansas has a 14-point lead over the number 10 team in the country right now. And a 10-yard run is going to make it second down in inches for Clemson. Travis Etienne. And after a two-yard run, it's going to be first and 10 for Clemson. Tigers going to hurry up here. And hit for a loss of one, Shane Irons. It's going to be second down 11 for Clemson. They're going to go with a handoff to ETN, and he gets brought down for a loss of three. Third down at 13 for Clemson. And the Hogs have an opportunity to get off the field and try to push this to a three-possession game here early. Big hit by Curl, but he gets the first down. DeAndre Overton with the catch. Gidry brings him down, sacked for no gain. Second down to 10. Briston Gidry. Morgan makes the tackle. A four-yard gain, Lynn J. Dixon. And it's going to be third down at six for Clemson. And Curtis makes the tackle after a four-yard reception. It's fourth and three for Clemson. And balls at the 44. They're going to punt this ball back to Arkansas. And the Hogs are going to take over from the one yard line. It was a pretty one sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed. The one yard line right here. 
for Arkansas. And Woods can't hold on to the catch. It's going to be second down to 10. Had him, but he just couldn't hold on. Second down and 11 for Arkansas. And he's going to hit Woods, and Woods makes the catch. He gets out to the 30, kept his feet, and he just steps out of bounds. Otherwise, that would have been a huge play. Instead, it's just going to be getting them out. 33-yard gain, first and 10 for Arkansas. A minute 42 left in the half, and Arkansas trying to go up by three possessions. And they're going to hand it off to Boyd going up the right side. Boyd lowers his shoulder and picks up nine yards, second and one. Second down and one for the Razorbacks. Trying to get this first down, and it's going to be first and ten for the Hawks. Switching plays. France makes the catch. It's a 13-yard reception. Arkansas is going to take their first time out with a minute 14 left in the half. Balls at the 38. Cole Kelly having a really good game so far. And he hits Jones. Big catch. Jordan Jones is strong. I mean, have to have strong hands to make that catch, and he makes it. It's going to be first down and 10 for the Hogs. Ball at the 26, and Cole Kelly's over 200 yards passing for the game. Rakeem Boyd up the middle. He gets six yards. It's going to be second down and four for the Hogs. Second and four ball at the 21-yard line for Arkansas. And knocked down after a loss of six. It's going to be third down 11 for Arkansas. That game, that play was just doomed from the start. So here we go, third down and 11 for Arkansas. Trying to get some... Points before the half, and he's got Jones wide open over the middle. First down and 10, 13-yard reception. 19 seconds left. Arkansas going to the hurry up now. Intercepted by Goodrich. Just barely took it right out of the hands of Jones, and it's going to be first and 10 for Clemson as they shut down. I mean, that was a pretty heads up play right there, but a close one nonetheless. And it's going to be, like I said, first and 10 for Clemson. Oh, geez. Trying to make sure he didn't get that. Big play, and it's going to be first and 10 with six seconds left for Clemson. They may just let this go, and they will. And Arkansas is going to go into the half up 14 to nothing over Clemson. And the Tigers shut down points before the half for Arkansas. They were driving down the field pretty good, and Arkansas just couldn't finish. So Arkansas... Up by two touchdowns in Death Valley. Trying to hold on to this game and hold on to this lead. And they are going into the second half up by two touchdowns, like we said. So. And 
And it's going to be an 11 yard run, first down and 10 for Clemson. It's fair to say he's had a pretty solid game so far. And it's incomplete, second down and 10. Trevor Lawrence, which is an errant throw that time. situation when they usually like to go to uh, Travis Etienne. And instead they go to Peyton Hendershot for a 12 yard reception of first down and 10 for the Tigers. It's a one-yard run by Travis Etienne. Second down and nine for Clemson. And a 17-yard run by Trevor Lawrence. It's first down and 10 for Clemson. Yard run by Travis Etienne. It's going to be first down and 10, and Clemson is very close. And Gerald brings him down a loss of four, and Travis Etienne is down. And he is hurt. That would be a huge loss for Clemson. He's put them on his back here to start this second half and would just be a big loss for them in general. And thrown away. Not sure what this is going to be. They're going to call roughing the passer on Arkansas somehow. And it's going to be a 13-yard penalty, first down and 10 for Clemson. I mean, he just threw the ball out of bounds without leaving the pocket, so I don't know how that really is justified, but they're going to call it on him. Second down and four for Clemson now after the Trevor Lawrence six-yard run. Gets brought down for a loss of four, Dixon. And it's going to be third and seven for Clemson. Gerald feeling better. He comes at, back out on the field for Arkansas. No way. <sighs> So it's going to be 14 to 7 Arkansas with the lead after Clemson scores here. Arkansas needing an answer here. To the number 10 team in the country. And boy, he had a lane and he gets brought down from behind after a gain of 11. It's going to be first and 10 ball 34. ETN is not coming back in this one. Huge loss for Clemson. And Hayden is going to go up the middle, keep his balance, and get 10 yards and another first down. And the ground game for Arkansas is working. First and 10 for the Hogs.
Boyd going up the right side, and he gets 10 yards. Second and inches. So here we go. Second down and inches for Arkansas. Hayden and Williams in the backfield. And Williams is going to get nowhere. Malik Williams. No game. Third and one for Arkansas. Boyd picks up five, and it's going to be first down and ten for Arkansas. And it's going to be intercepted by Clemson on some lucky-ass shit. I don't like the way that they, they have this defensive back AI because this dude just completely left his man like as soon as I even tried to throw the ball. So it's going to be first and ten for Clemson. And a three-yard gain makes it second down at seven for the Tigers. Like, how, dude? That makes zero sense. The dude literally stops and then just... Hmm... They're going to freaking score here. This is such bullshit, man. You've got to be kidding me. Loss of two. It's third down and eight for Clemson now. It's going to be a four-yard reception. And at the end of the third quarter, it's going to be 14-7 to Arkansas with the lead. And Clemson possibly going and trying to kick a field goal. Or they're going for it. Wow. And they're going to turn it over on downs, and it's going to be 14 to 7 Arkansas with 5:51 left. Sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show. And he hits Woods first down in 12-yard reception. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Oh, my God. First off, that wasn't even the kind of pass I was trying to throw. Secondly, what the fuck? Oh, 
Jesus Christ. Six yard run, second down and four. The cuts that they're making are just complete bullshit. Like, there's no way to do that in the game. Blows that play up, and it's going to be second down of 14 for Clemson. Dorian Gerald. Yard run, it's gonna be third down and two. Unbelievable. And stopped a loss of four. It's gonna be fourth and six for Clemson now. Ball to 33, and they're going for it again. Ten-yard reception. It's first down and ten for Clemson. They're going to score. Loss of two, and it's going to be second down and twelve for Clemson. With three forty-eight left here in the fourth quarter. Gerald knocks him back for a loss of two. It's third down of 14 now. His third tackle for loss of the game. Third and long here in the fourth, and this is the biggest third down of the ball game. Five wide. And it's going to be fourth and five with three minutes left, and Clemson surely going to go for it. Inside the 10 here. Just under three to go in regulation. Now he tries to buy some time. Jesus fucking Christ. Some more bullshit quarterback run crap. And it's going to be first and goal for... Fucking Clemson. And no game for Trevor Lawrence. It's going to be second down and goal. Dorian Gerald with another tackle for loss. And he just throws away. It's third down and goal now. For Clemson, all at the two. Brought down fourth and goal for Clemson. Two minutes remaining. Ball is at the two-yard line.
Arkansas is going to call timeout. Jesus, God dang Christ. <sighs> that was crap. So it's going to be 14 all with a minute 54 left in the game, and Arkansas is about to get the ball back. Forty yard reception by Rakeem Boyd. Arkansas having trouble throwing the ball here the last couple drives on some bullshit plays, but they're making them. So it's first down and 10 for Arkansas. Clemson with 14 unanswered points in the second half, and they're going to bring them down for a loss of one. Yeah, so let's turn that on for a quick. He's going to hit Warren, who's going to pick up 17 yards. It's going to be first down and 10 for Arkansas. And Woods is going to make a move. And Woods, 22 yards, and it's first down and 10 for Arkansas. First and ten for the Hawks. Boy, get stood up after a three-yard run. Kelly is going to keep this one. It's going to be no game. Third down seven. Cameron Curl, the safety, comes in and play a little wide receiver. He gets the first down and 10. 21 seconds left, and he gets out of bounds. Big thing there. <sighs> So here comes the Hawks. They're in the red zone, but that doesn't necessarily mean points. Last time they got intercepted. Hand off to the right. Three yard run. Arkansas is going to use their second timeout. Second down and seven. Ball to eight. And Hayden goes up the middle, and he gets about seven yards. It's going to be third down and inches. Arkansas is just going to have to take a timeout here with two seconds left, and they're going to have to try to kick this game one field goal now. Ball at the one. Clemson's going to take a timeout. And Arkansas. 18 yard field goal or overtime and it's going to be right down the middle in Arkansas it's going to win this game 17 to 14 and beat the number 10 Clemson Tigers 17 to 14